Today I wanted to go over a few tips and tricks for installing Bartender 2019 and 2021 on multiple computers in particular. Um, looking at the screen here, we have a start of the install wizard for Bartender 2021. And we're just gonna go through here and follow the wizard as it installs everything. Pull this back over to the screen we need. And as you can see here, we are just going through the wizard. It will take some time until we get to the follow-up screens. All right, and as we can see, we have now finished with the installation. We just need to kind of tidy up with the licensing information and getting all that going. And so we'll come over here and we will click finish to start the licensing wizard. So we have already installed the original installation on an actual server, uh, which will house the license. Um, you can actually do the license on a normal PC. Doesn't matter PC or server, as long as that PC or server is gonna be accessible all the time to any other client stations or um, additional installations that will wanna use Bartender Designer and any other of the bartender suite. So as we can see down here, uh, bartender did a great job of finding the existing license on the network. Um, this is our service key, um, the addition, which is enterprise. Uh, we have a three printer license. This is a um, engineering uh, license given to us through um, Siegel and bartender. And there is the server that it's on. Um, since we're using a DNS, uh, server here, it actually picks up the name and not the IP address. So what I'm gonna tell it to do is I'm gonna say, yeah, I wanna use this one. Um, if it found multiples, you could select, or if it didn't find one at all, you could come down here and say, hey, search for an existing license. I know I already have one on the server or on the network, I just need to find it, so you can click there. And at this point in time, it will ask me for the IP address, or you can use a name and search for it. Also, the port is important. So when you do the original installation, make sure you write down and record which port you have the server broadcasting through and using. Um, the default is 5160, although you can change it. And if you have several licenses on the network, you will need to use a separate port for each license. So I'm gonna come down here and Let's search for it. Found it here. If you need to find it, you can always come into search for an existing license like we just did. I probably am not using the correct port, which is why it's not finding it. But since it did, it's here. Highlight it. We'll click next. And we have successfully activated a copy of it. Let me just hit finish. With 2019 and 2021, every copy of Bartender installs what they call an administration console. Let me open it up here and drag it onto the screen. This is where you're gonna find your licensing information, printer information, um, all that information there. And here we go, here's a copy of it. So what we're interested in today is the licensing. So as you can see, the current license I'm using is the one on here. Um, I can activate a new license here. I can add a new license server down here. And one um, tip or trick to look for if you're having problems finding that existing server or tying into it, is the server access, which is down here under this license server. Uh, this is obviously my desktop, it's not the one on Hera, but it is the same for both. A lot of times when you come into the original install for this, the who will be possibly everyone, and the from will be on just this computer. So if somebody's trying to use a license server from a different computer, it would not work. So the tip here is to make it who is everyone and from anywhere. So anybody on the network that can see the license can actually use it. 
That is one tip to look for. And then once again, under license setup, the user access control, if you're having issues actually tying into the existing licenses to make it everyone from everywhere under user access control. Now, the last tip and trick I have is if you're having trouble finding it on the network, um, Bartender uses a service to locate existing licenses on the network. So let me pull up services and we'll. So lastly, uh, I have is if you're having trouble finding the existing license in the installation wizard where we had it, it popped up, it showed our our um, support number, the addition and all, I highlighted it and, and clicked on use that. If you're having trouble finding that or finding it by searching through um, an IP address, come into the Windows to Firewall, sorry, Windows Defender Firewall settings and look for this bartender licensing service discovery app and allow it through all three. Once we do that, you should be able to find it either automatically or by using the IP address of the computer you know that that license is on. I have seen on some installations where it does get blocked through the firewall so you never actually find it. If that's all checked and you still don't see it, once again, go back and allow it from everyone and everywhere, and you should be good to go. If you're still having issues, please feel free to give us a call here at EMP as we do do full support for um, bartender installations in use. And we have quite a bit of experience with it. Um, our number here is 317-776-6700. Or you can contact us on the web by clicking, um, going to support at emptechgroup.com. And once again, if you have any questions, please give us a call or an email and we'll be happy to help you out. Thanks again.